across the U.S., including us here in the Carolinas, have a wonderful opportunity to see a total lunar eclipse tonight. I spoke with experts from the South Carolina State Museum to discuss why they're particularly excited about this event. A total lunar eclipse happens when the moon passes into the Earth's shadow. While it's not a rare event, it's exciting due to the time of day and position of the moon. Although the middle of the night isn't ideal for some, it'll make the viewing much easier. Liz Klimek, the planetary manager at the South Carolina State Museum, describes the appearance as the Earth trying to be Mars. That's just because when you're in the deepest part of Earth's shadow, what happens is you have a little bit of sunlight just still trickling just past the edges of the Earth. And that light goes through our atmosphere and our atmosphere is really good at scattering out the blue light and just letting the reddish part pass through. It's that sliver of light making it to the moon and bouncing back that allows us to experience the reddish hue. If you've heard super blood or flower to describe this lunar eclipse, don't be alarmed. Blood comes from the orange reddish color. Super comes from it being a super moon, which means slightly larger and brighter due to the close proximity to the Earth. And flower comes from the May time frame and signifies flowers blooming in the northern hemisphere. The partial eclipse begins around 10:27 p.m. The total eclipse will start around 11:29 p.m. with the maximum eclipse just after midnight. The total eclipse will end around 12:53 a.m. and the event concludes closer to 2 a.m. Now, total lunar eclipses again are not rare, but viewing for the next one in November won't be as good. The next eclipse as spectacular as this one won't happen until March 2025. It's interesting because talking to them, you know, we have another eclipse in November. It's just the time of day and like the angle of the moon won't be as good. So that's why they're so excited about this one. They said the one, like I mentioned in the package, it's not until March 2025 that we'll probably get a good one this good. But lunar eclipses are not rare. So if you've seen on social media, super rare once in a lifetime, <laughs> that is not the case. Well, I'm going to have to stay up and <laughs> pass my bedtime to be able to see this one. It sounds like, but you know, it's something that you don't want to miss. Yeah, definitely. And as for the forecast right now, it does look like we'll see a partly cloudy sky and just a stray shower around. So you should get a view again. That main time frame is about 1130 PM tonight until just before 1 AM tomorrow morning. More on the forecast coming up.